In this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how you can save a little time when you have to do the task of tagging your clips at Pond5. And believe me, it is a tedious task. I don't like it. But there are some shortcuts, and so let's take a look at that. Let's go to, let's click on the tab that says Uploads. And by the way, we're in our client area. Uh, to get there, you just have to log into Pond5. Your client area will show up here. Go to Uploads or your dashboard. Uploads is probably better. And in this line here, right beside the blue uh, My Uploads, there's an option uh, that says Templates. By creating a template, as we'll demonstrate here, you will be able to enter a lot of the information that uh, you need to for any given set of clips. You can just enter it once, and then as you use that template, as you're tagging your clips, that can save you a lot of time. So how do we make a template? Well, we click on Templates, and you'll see I have a long list already. We could uh, click on any one of these, make some changes, and save that, and it would become the new template. But if you're creating a new template, just scroll down to the bottom and click on New Template. And uh, so just as an example, let's make a template for this footage that uh, we've been working with from the Dominican Republic. First of all, give your template a name. This won't actually show up uh, as one of your fields when you're working with it, but it helps, gives you a reference to know how to find the template and apply it when you need to. So let's call it uh, Dominican Republic. And because I probably have other presets from previous shoots in the Dominican Republic, we'll maybe just say 2013. And another little tip or trick that will help uh, bring this template to the top of the list is if you just put a, a little A in front of it. And then because it's listed alphabetically, that's going to pop to the top of the list and make it easier for you to find or apply it each time you go to work on a new clip. Okay, the title field, uh, because we're going to give each individual clip a, a cute, punchy name, we'll leave that blank. There's no sense putting that into the template. Don't worry about the real field, the description. Um, we could start a description here. I usually like to enter something that I think that people might punch into a search engine when they're looking for stock video. You know, if I was looking for clips, video footage, stock video footage on the Dominican Republic, I would very likely punch into Google a phrase something like stock video footage of the... And then I'll put a colon mark. And by typing that into my template, now when I apply a template to these clips, that information will already be in the description field, and I can just start from there and add more detailed description about the clip. But at least all of the clips will have that same information. And that way, when people are, are typing in, you know, you don't have to follow this formula. You could think in your mind, what would people most likely type into Google when they're looking for shots? And come up with your own term that you think people might use. Uh, maybe if you're working in a different language, you would want to do, use that. But the more closely your phrase can match what you think people will type into Google, the more likely your shots will come up. Okay, date created. Uh, this was in 2013 and uh, September. I don't usually worry about the day. Location city. Well, we were all over the Dominican Republic, so I probably would just be better to leave that blank and fill that information in manually for each clip. You know, if I was working on a group of 100 clips and I knew that 50 of them were in Santo Domingo and uh, the other 50 were Punta Cana, well, I might make the first template Punta Cana and then process all the Punta Cana shots and then go in and quickly change the template, uh, change the location city in the template or make a new template with a different city. You know, different ways you could approach this, but I probably, maybe we're looking at about 20 different locations on the island, so it, it really, really won't benefit me by adding that, I don't think, in this case. But I do believe that the, the country is relevant or important. It's another one of those things that the search engines are going to be looking at. So Dominican Republic, all of the shots are taken by a camera, and most of the shots were with my Canon XF300. So we might as well put that in the template. And then for those shots that were shot on the Canon 5D Mark III, well, we can just change that quick enough. Contains recognizable people. Well, let's just exclude that from the template. And uh, let's not worry about audio. 
um, contains none of mine do, so let's just not worry about that. Uh, we'll choose the 16 by 9 native and pricing will set in at 60 and keywords we can put in the first few keywords that we know will work for all of the shots like the Dominican Republic put a comma after each one and that uh, sets that in now uh, something to remember or note here is that Pond5 doesn't do spell checking on keywords or the title for that matter so try and make sure that you're when you're entering the title and uh, these keywords that your spelling is correct. The next one I always have trouble with, uh, I think it's two B's, Caribbean. And I think that's about all we can really enter as, as keywords that will work for every one. The rest we're going to have to enter manually. Okay, and that about does it for making this template. And so we'll save those uh, changes. Okay, didn't like the fact that my the t my template name was as long as it was. Because this is only for our own purposes, it can be really anything we want. Uh, we could say DR for that matter, so I'll usually refer to the Dominican Republic. And then again, we'll put the A in front of it so it'll pop to the top. And let's try saving that again. Okay, that seemed like that. And now we'll see that it's right at the top of the alphabetical list. And so now, when we go to our uploads, and we select our first shot to tag, hit the edit key there. And this time, uh, rather than start entering all of the information starting from scratch, what we can do is apply template that shows up here. And because it's at the top of the list, by default it just shows up uh, and you can hit apply. If your template doesn't show at the top of the list, you can open this up and uh, scroll down or start typing in what you remember that template name to be called and it might show up. But because mine is already there, all I need to do is hit apply. And now you'll see all of the information that we entered into the template shows up. And all we have to do is add the extra information that wasn't there. You know, our date is correct. The country is correct. We've got this first little bit in the description. And uh, we've got our camera in there. So it's going to be a real help as we tag these clips. It's going to save us lots of time. Okay, in our next tutorial, we'll show you how uh, you can do some batch tagging and that might also help save you a lot of time you know when you're when you're staring down the barrel of uh, 300 clips that you've uploaded the night before it helps to know that there are some shortcuts that you can make to help you through this tedious process of keywording and tagging your clips